السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اسکول آف فزکس آئی ایم ہیئر بائی فار فیو ڈیز فار فیو لیکچرس وچ ول بی انٹروڈکٹری ان نیچر سو یو ہیو ٹو کوپریٹ ود دیٹ مے بی یو مائی بی نوئنگ آل دیز ٹاپکس وچ آر انیشلی گیون دی لیکچر گیون ہیئر سو یو ہیو ٹو کوپریٹ ود دیٹ ود دی پیسج آف ٹائم وی ول شفٹ آن ٹو دی ایڈوانس ٹاپکس سو فار دیٹ یو ہیو ٹو کوپریٹ فار فار وائل آف ٹائم فار اے وائل so uh, first of all we will try to understand the basics about the physics so that's why for today i have selected a, a lecture a topic which is regarding the physics and the physical world so today's our lecture will be the topic is physics and physical world <clears throat> so when you then look upon the uh, your surroundings your environment your uh, wherever you are living so you will see around different things different phenomena going on so these might include different phenomena like uh, if you see some some might be dangerous even some might be slightly dangerous some might be very much delicious in nature some things are there which are very much fascinating like i can see the night sky when you see night sky like the stars and further if you might be knowing something about the constellation there are something like that these are the group of cluster of stars cluster of stars and some other phenomena which are daily observed but you may not be thinking that there is a physics behind them there is some sort of mechanism behind them like the rainbow which is very much fascinated by us which is very much fascinating phenomena even we all enjoy when there is uh, some sort of a rainbow coming out on either side of our sky which we look upon so the mechanism behind this will be de- will be dealt with by physics some other phenomena like which might be i can say um, i told you earlier that some phenomena may include the dangerous phenomena as well the Ban- dangerous phenomena like earthquake okay earthquakes volcanoes you might be all well aware about these weird things volcanoes uh, like storms all of these all of these there is a phenomenon there is a mechanism behind them why these are going on why such earthquakes occur why such volcanoes occur what is the mechanism of the formation of the rainbow such a small you you can't imagine that a tiny droplet of water tiny droplet of water tiny droplet of water can form a huge rainbow can you believe that and the all of the mechanism behind that is dealt by physics so we have to with the passage of time we have to understand all of these phenomena why the things are going like that so f- we will today we will try to understand what physics actually is a sort of i will say introduction it will not be so much huge topic it will give us an idea about the subject which we are going to uh, conduct here we, we the lectures we are going to conduct here so we will get an outline about the physics to get the idea about what is going on inside the physics but before that we have to understand science we know science all of us are well aware about this very fact that science it includes the observations 
experimentations experimentations and then implementations as well implementation as well and behind that we have to understand why we are doing physics i earlier told you that the we should do any study we should do anything for a right purpose and here science is dealt science is studied for the purpose to serve humanity on the first place and especially about the physics to understand I already told you that to understand universe to understand sorry to understand universe so this must be our motto this must be our goal to serve humanity and for the better understanding of our universe we study sciences and physics is one category among different disciplines of the science different natural sciences we can see so for uh, for right now i will take the term science it has been derived from a latin word which means the science it means to know to have knowledge about it simply means to know that means that is the knowledge so anything we are doing to get knowledge about that that phenomenon that uh, specific topic that specific branch that will include that will be included inside the science but it has a domain what domain it must be including the observations experimentations as well because the things which are not under the experimentations which cannot be observed which are not observables that doesn't come under the category of science like philosophy philosophy is good to know about we also here we also get the knowledge about different things but that is not the science as such that is not science as such because it doesn't it may be lacking lacking the experimentations experimentations and implementation right now because we can't conduct an experiment inside the lab to observe a, pheno a phenomena which is discussed inside philosophy for example i can see like uh, i can see the existence of feeling for the existence of feeling there are different philosophical views but those are not observed those are not observable you know, these are not observed inside the lab but science deals even with the feelings the science says that there is a mechanism behind the feelings it is all the uh, reactions chemical reactions which are happening which are going on inside our brain so in that case feelings are also dealt with dealt by science philosophy gives different theories different suggestions different hypotheses but those are not what i said to you those are not being experimentally verified these things cannot be experimentally verified so it comes under the category of philosophy those concepts which cannot be verified justifiable under the experimentation which are not repeated under the experimentation under the same conditions if we apply so we cannot again and again repeat these things in the lab which cannot be observed inside in the, into the lab those come under the category of philosophy but the things like the preparation of polymers say for example the preparation of polymers we can do it inside the lab inside the lab we can observe the things different things which are going on and we can repeat the process as many times as we can that comes under the category of science so science deals with the observations experimentations and then afterward for to serve the humanity we can implement it on to other disciplines as well 
and over to many disciplines so but with the passage of time we are going we are seeing that from the past from the past experience we have seen that we have seen that there were different philosophies there were different theories there were different hypotheses given with the passage of time the earlier one was discarded then the new hypothesis then a new theory came it remained for time some time then after that it was also rejected so with the passage of time this is the beauty of science this is the beauty of science what beauty of science rejection of old or we can say not experimentally verifiable rejection of old or we can say not which are not the theories or the hypotheses which are not experimentally verifiable these are replaced replaced by replaced by new theories this is the beauty of science. I will see you in the next.